So right now we're twilight fishing, and this type of twilight fishing is always a little bit different. You never know if it's gonna be fishing a big rock pile for sand bass and calico bass. This year, there hasn't been much sand bass, so we're sculping fishing. And with that, you can get away with lighter line and stuff. So what I'm fishing is a smaller, almost like a freshwater bass reel. This is 30 pound spectra line. And then on top of that, I have 25 pound mono. And my rig is basically two dropper loop rigs with B-52 bucktails that cuts a squid. And I have the bucktails far enough apart that if I hook a big one, big fish, like a five pounder, three pounder on one, it's not gonna block the other one. I still have a chance of catching a fish on the second bucktail. And it's really important whenever you're using a double dropper loop rig that you space them far enough apart. So if you do hook a big fish, you still have a shot at landing a second big fish. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm using the spectral line because we're basically rock fishing. So at the spectral line, there's no stretch and any little nibble I feel, I'm gonna feel it right away. And I'm using a really light action rod so it's fun and get some action with it. All right, Skipper's gonna stop the boat right now. We're gonna drop these lines in, see if I can catch me a fish. We're still in the same spot, first stop of the day, and I made three drops, and then each time I've gotten a fish, here comes another one here, I feel a little shaker. I don't know if it's any bigger than the other ones. Hopefully this one's legal. I need one so I can show you guys how to cook one up. Let's see what this one is here. Feels better. Here it comes. Here, here he is. Oh. Close, but not quite 10 inches. But they really like the bucktails, and uh, just something I never knew about how much Sculpin like them. But uh, a few seasons ago, one of the deckhands on a trip that was doing a lot of Sculpin trips had told me that to use the bucktails in a dropper loop rig, and you catch all the Sculpin you want. So far, it's working out that way. Let this guy go. Let's line out and back up. Let's line out for now. Just got bit again, just wind it down. It's pretty instant. Just about every drop there's a fish. And actually for me so far tonight, every drop there's been a fish on here. Haven't got any illegals yet, a lot of shorts. See if maybe this is the first legal for me of the night. Starting to see some nicer fish show up now. Let's see what this one is here. Here's color. Here's the first one. There he is. Oh, he might be legal. That's a fat belly one. Might be legal. It's really close. They're just liking that bucktail with just a little tiny piece of squid on there and they're hitting it. That's what we're looking for. Legal size sculpin, tastes really, really good. All right, let's take a look around the boat, see who else is catching some fish, because they're biting right now, really good. Nice one, right? Yeah. Big 
Big fish, right? What's your bite number? Uh, 14. 14. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. Good. Yeah. B-52 Bucktails. Strip of squid. Catch sculpting. Okay, we're fishing about 80 feet of water. We got bit. Here we go. Here's the color right here. It's coming up. I got one, got two. Two sculpin. And this is what we're trying to catch. These are too small. They gotta be over 10 inches. So both of these, we're gonna take them off right now and release them. We see how the double bucktail rig works with a piece of squid. Works out really good. All right, let's. Ooh, there he is. There we go. Right. Nice scalp in here on a B-52 bucktail with a strip of sardine. That's how you do it. Short scalp then on a B-52 bucktail with a strip of squid on the Enterprise out of Long Beach. Twilight fishing. There you go. Oh, another legal one. It's just been so easy fishing tonight, catching sculpin. I've only used one rig so far. I think I'm gonna switch over and try just using a single bucktail, bigger bucktail. But the double bucktail rig's been working great. And uh, I've had luck the last few seasons fishing this rig for sculpin. It's been really, really good. Let's take a little break from the action here aboard the Enterprise and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these sculpin that we're catching today. This week in the galley, we're in Fullerton, California at the Matador Cantina. And it's a restaurant right here in the downtown Fullerton area. Standing next to me is Chef Dave, who's also an avid angler. And thanks for inviting us back, Dave. Thanks for coming back. Appreciate it. Good to see thanks, you Thanks, Chef. So what do you have in store for us today? Right, I got some local sculpin today. And what I'm going to do is a drunken fish dish. I'm going to take the fish. I'm going to put it just a little dredge and some seasoned flour. Um, with these delicate fish like that, is the flour just kind of helps keep it together in one piece. First, I have some uh, just diced zucchini and squash. And we're just gonna saute that real quick. A little salt and pepper. I already reduced some cream, lime juice, and tequila. And the tequila is what makes this a drunken fish. <laughs> okay. Um, but I'm gonna reduce it a little more and then I'm gonna finish it with a little bit of garlic cilantro butter. So we're gonna get this going here. And the actual alcohol, the tequila will burn out. In yes, the everything will cook out, but it will have a nice flavor to it. Nice flavor. All right, the sauce is just about done. What I'm going to do is just turn off the flame, and then I'm going to put my butter in, and I'm just going to whisk it in there. The rice in the middle there. We're gonna take our sauce and we're gonna put it in here. And a couple things when cooking a really delicate fish is um, ideally you could have a nonstick pan 
um, dredging it in a little flour like we did before, or you can crust it um, with you know, a panko, tortilla crust, or even a panko and some different kinds of nuts that you can put in there as well. And then you would just cook it in the pan. And one way you would never want to cook a sculpin? I would never charbroil a sculpin on the barbecue. Um, just because it will stick and it will all fall apart. Fall apart in little pieces. Yeah, you'll, you'll start on top like that. We're gonna go back. We're gonna take this reserve sauce and we're gonna try and get some of it on top. Well, Chef, this looks wonderful. I gotta take a bite of this. All right, enjoy yourself. And I like what you did too, the way you filleted the sculpin. You know, I've seen that done with a few chefs where they'll take different sides of it or different pieces just to change the look of it a little bit. This looks really, really good. Oh, it falls apart nice. I gotta try the drunken sauce. That's delicious. Thank you, I appreciate that. That's very good. The vegetables come out really nice. And you can taste the flavor. It, you know, you don't taste the tequila, but you can get the flavor of tequila. Well, thank you. Well, thanks, thanks Chef. Thanks for back. We're here at the Matador Cantina in Fullerton, California, downtown Fullerton. Thanks again, Chef. Let's Love get it. back on the water. Show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. We've had a few uh, sand dabs mixed in. Luckily, I haven't caught any of them, but they do taste good. If you like eating sand dabs, they are delicious. Here we go. Here's my fish. I got a double. So this top one, they're both a little short. This top one was on a strip of squid with a bucktail. So I'll go ahead and release this one. And then the second one was the one I was telling you about with the piece of mackerel on there. Again with the bucktail. That's that little piece of mackerel dangling there. He couldn't pass it up, but he's a little small. Hey, look at this, we got a sand dab. Yeah, baby. Let's keep going. Let's get a big one. This is my uh, like eighth one, but this is still a little bit too small, but hey, it's great. We're having fun out here. We're having a really good time. This is what we're trying to catch. Legal Sculpin. What's your name? Come here. See, this is, turn around the other way so they can see you. This is the fish we're catching. You having fun today? And how many have you got so far? Like 10. 10? That's good, he's a pro. Another one. Well, getting a little better there. Hopefully, the next one will be a keeper. 352 Bucktail, Dan Hernandez, sport fishing. <laughs> See what I got here. Hopefully, it's something nice and legal. Feels heavier than the other ones. See what I got. Hopefully, it's not another tangle. Oh, there's a double. Oh, that bottom one. There's a good one. There, they might both be legal there. This is exactly why you come scoping fishing. And this is why you use a double bucktail rig. You can catch nice big scoping like this. 
Our skipper Andy suggested we come sculpin fishing. It was a good decision. Nice quality fish like this. All right, we'll take a little break from the action, and when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week.